looking for an eco-friendly, inexpensive choice for a garden path. Or perhaps your garden path is actually looking a bit tired and it really needs a bit of smartening up, which is what's just happened to us. And we decided to try out cockle shell mulch or seashell mulch as a garden path choice instead of gravel. So come along and find out how we did it and whether it would be a good choice for you. It's Alexandra from the Middle Size Garden YouTube channel with tips, ideas and inspiration for your garden from real gardens. If you have a gravel path, it may need renewing. We had our gravel paths topped up in 2010 and I reckon they're pretty much half earth now. Meanwhile, my friend, garden maker Posy Gentles, was creating a new path in her garden and she suggested trying a seashell mulch with cockle shells, so we both decided to order it in bulk together. We ordered it from Gardenscape Direct, who deliver to the southeast of England. Ordering manures and mulches in bulk saves money, but you have to think about delivery. We have a walled garden in town surrounded by other gardens, and our garden can only be accessed by a narrow alleyway. So the seashell mulch plus a one ton bag of mushroom compost had to be craned over the front fence into our front garden. Posy had her one ton bag craned onto her front path. It took about three to four hours to wheelbarrow the seashell mulch from the front garden to the back and we tipped the wheelbarrow loads into piles into gardens where we wanted them. We also prepared the paths beforehand with a massive weeding effort. Although a mulch helps suppress weeds, it'll be much more effective if poured on a path that's already weed free. Then we raked the piles over the path. Cockle shell mulch isn't as heavy as gravel, so this was a relatively easy job. However, where the paths were partly flagstones and partly gravel, it was much more fiddly. The whole thing probably took about two hours. In Posy's garden, because she was creating a new path, it included levelling the ground. If you're making a path, you need to level it or the seashell mulch will all be washed down to one end. And you need to level paths to make them safe for walking and in order to set stone or concrete pavers in safely. Posy didn't lay the seashells on any fabric or any other base, so she needed about 40 to 50 millimetres of mulch. The seashell mulch was about a third cheaper than gravel. The whole thing cost us about 200, including delivery. And laying it doesn't require any DIY expertise. I think the colour brightens the garden up, but in a natural way, so I'm pleased with it. Our dog was initially hesitant about walking on it, but is now completely happy. The shells break underfoot, so the path will compact quite quickly, becoming finer and less seashelly over time. And it'll ultimately be recycled into the soil, although that will take years. The Middle Size Garden YouTube channel uploads every Saturday, either with a trip round a private garden you might not otherwise see, or an interview with an expert, or just something that might be helpful to you that we've done in our garden. So if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe. And if you found this helpful, do hit like, because it helps me know that you'd like to see more practical tips on the Middle Size Garden YouTube channel. Thank you.